Hey everyone, welcome to ISTQB Foundation Exam Question and Answers and in this video I'm going to cover another five exam questions with detailed explanation and answers. This is exam set four that is available on the ISTQB official website and the exam pattern will be more or less something similar. So once you go through these videos and the syllabus and the course that I have published, you will be having a very good chance of figuring out how the pattern is and also how you are going to answer these questions. Okay. So the first question of this particular video says, which of the following is a typical test objective, right? So we have to select one option. You make sure you read how many options you have to select. Sometimes you have to select two options. So you are sure that you just have to select one option out of this particular question. So if you go through these points, we have to figure out which is the typical test objective. Now, first one says finding and fixing defects in the test object. Now, finding is fine, but fixing defects is not a test objective. So this is basically fixing defect is a developer job, right? So that's not a typical test objective. So that's that's wrong and that's not a typical test objective. So we can cross it out. Now, the second option says maintaining effective communication with developers that that's not a typical test objective as well. Effective communication with developers is very much required, but that's not the objective of testing. So that is gone as well. Validating that legal requirements have been met. That's also not a test objective, typical test objective. So that's also gone. And with this, we are just left with la last option. So it looks like that's the correct option. And what exactly it says, building confidence in the quality of the test object. Absolutely correct. Building confidence in the quality of the test object is a typical test objective, right? Now moving to the next question. Question number two of this video, a designer documents a design for a user interface that does not suitably address disabled users. Okay. Because the designer is tired. All right. The programmer implements the user interface in line with the design. But as they are working under severe time pressure, they do not include suitable exception handling in their program code for bonus calculations. Okay. Now, couple of options there designer documents a design for a UI user interface and that design did not suitably address disabled users because designer is tired. The second point they are mentioning is the programmer implements the user interface in line with design. Whatever design has been made programmer implements it as per the design. Okay. Whatever design the designer made, but because programmers were working under severe time pressure, they did not include suitable exception handling in their program code code for bonus calculation. So there is no exception handling because the programmers were working under a severe, severe time pressure. So they, they didn't, they did not include that exception handling. When the operational system is used, complaints are made by some disabled users about the interface and the company is subsequently fined by the relevant reg regulatory authority. Okay. So when the operation, when the system becomes operational now, because the, for the disabled users, things were not clearly addressed, suitably addressed in the design and programmer addressed the code based on the design. And when the system became operational, then complaints were made by the disabled users that the interface is not suitable, right? Or in interface is not usable by the disabled users and subsequently regulatory authority did a fine or find the company for this miss in the design. The next thing you will see that there was an issue with the suitable exception handling in their program code for bo bonus calculation, which was, which was done by the programmer. Programmer did not include because of the severe time pressure. Now, no one notices that bonus calculation are sometimes incorrect. Okay. So read all of this properly. So you understand what exactly they are asking about. Okay. A couple of things here. First thing is design. Second thing is the programmer mistake or programmer miss in the bonus calculation for the suitable exception handling. Now, no one notices that bonus calculations are sometimes incorrect. So this is the document. This is the documentary or basically the statement. Now, based on this statement, what they are asking is which of the following statements is correct. Okay. We have to select just one option. Now, if you have read all of this properly and analyze this, they could ask anything related to the fine related to the 
bonus calculation related to the design or exception handling. Now let's see which statement is basically correct in here. Now if you see the first option, the miscalculation of bonus is a defect that occasionally occurs. Okay, So here no one notices that bonus calculation is sometimes incorrect. So first option says miscalculation of bonuses is a defect that occasionally occurs. The second option is the fine received for failing to address some disabled users is a failure. Third option says the programmer working under severe time pressure is a root cause. Okay, And the design of the user interface includes a designer error. Now fourth option is absolutely incorrect because design of the UI includes a designer error is not correct because designer did not include any error there okay they were designer was tired and they did not suitably address the disabled user so this is not correct okay now if we talk about the third option the programmer working under severe time pressure is a root cause right now this looks a root cause basically if you see this whole thing here okay no one notices that bonus calculations are sometimes incorrect right this is not yet noticed as such okay so no one has found that this is actually a defect no one notices itself now based on this statement you have to identify what is the correct statement right so based on this last statement all of that the things that we read what they are asking is no one notices that bonus calculation is sometimes incorrect so what is the root cause for this this c option looks correct let's just dot it out and eliminate others with explanation now you'll see the b option says the fine received for failing to address some disabled users is a failure no that's not a failure that's basically a miss because designer is not is is tired was tired and did not address it suitably it's not a failure first option says miscalculation of bonus is a defect that occasionally occurs now this is not even identified no one notices it right so no one noticed so this is basically not a defect that has been identified yet. So this is also incorrect. So the correct answer with this all statement is no one notices that bonus calculation is sometimes incorrect. The correct option is C. The programmer working under severe time pressure is a root cause for this whole issue that is basically described with this particular statement and no one noticing that bonus calculation are sometimes correct because the root cause of this whole bonus calculation thing is developers working under severe time pressure right so even though this is this will get identified as a defect sometimes now there will be a very close when you read this first and third there'll be very close you can choose basically miscalculation of a bonus is a defect that occasionally occurs you could also feel that this is also correct option right because yes this is miscalculation of bonuses is is a defect that occasionally occurs but because this defect hasn't been identified no one has noticed so that is why this was incorrect and this is the most appropriate and correct statement that this is the root cause the programmers being tired or working under severe time pressure is the root cause okay now moving to the third question of this particular video test conditions are being used by testers to generate test cases and execute tests okay even though the test conditions remain the same, the test cases are varied each time. Which of the following principles of testing is being addressed through the variation of test case, right? So test conditions are being used by testers to generate test case and execute, execute test. Even though test conditions remain same, test cases are varied each time. Why test cases are varied each time? Which principle of testing is what we have to figure out and we have to select one option there. So why do we? vary test case each time is it because tests wear out yes that's absolutely very close absence of defects policy early testing saves times and uh, time and money that's nothing to do with the with this particular statement varying test cases defect cluster together that's nothing to do with the test case variation or varying the test cases so why the test cases are varied is because tests tests wear out so the first is the correct correct option second third fourth are the incorrect options okay now moving to the fourth question of this video given the following test tasks four test tasks and the following test activities which of the following best matches the test uh, the task with the activities again we have to select one option and you will see that in so in order to solve these type of question make sure you pick the option either test activity or test task that you 
feel very comfortable that you'll be able to map them correctly okay so for example if we talk about say first option here derive test cases from test condition okay identify reusable testware organize test cases into test procedures and evaluate test basis and test object all right now if we talk about test analysis design implementation and completion let's say we talk about the completion okay the test activity activity completion which test task matches closely with the completion so so if we talk about derived test cases from test condition is it a completion test completion activity or task no identify reusable testware yes this looks very close to test completion test task organize test cases test cases into test procedures no evaluate test basis and test object so looks like test completion two matches to d right two matches to d so where exactly two is matching to d you will see that two is matching to d in b and two is matching to d in d right so we can straight away cross out a and c because now I am pretty sure the test completion is identify reusable testware. Okay. Now based on this, now we have figured out, we have crossed out two options. Now we just have to figure out in B and D, which one is the correct option. So now we'll go the other way around. So we'll see one of B. Okay. So we'll say one derived test cases from test condition. Is it a test design activity? Yes, absolutely. This is a test design activity. Deriving test cases from test condition is a test design activity. Now, 2D already we have mapped 3 to C. So, organize test cases into test procedures. 3 to C. So, test implementation. Yes, this is correct, right? So, organizing test cases into test procedures is a test implementation. Deriving test cases from test condition is a test design activity right so basically this is test design and organizing test cases into test procedure is a test implementation so with this you can straight away see that these also incorrect and if we talk about the fourth option evaluate test basis and test object evaluation is an analysis activity right so evaluating test object and test basis is an analysis activity so four is mapping to a if you check this other way around, right, so one mapping to C, derived test cases from test condition, is it a test implementation? No, this is not a test implementation activity, right? And even the fourth option, if you see four mapping to B, evaluate test basis and test object, is test design? No, evaluation is an analysis activity. So that's how you eliminate the answer and you conclude that B is the correct answer. Just with one correct option of test completion, we are able to come up and conclude that this is basically the correct answer with the elimination strategy okay so now moving to the last question of this particular video given the following test where test completion report data held in database used for test inputs and expected results the list of elements needed to build the test environment documented sequences of test cases in execution order and test cases which of the following best shows the test were pro produced as a result of performing test implementation okay so which of these testware will be produced as a result of test implementation when you are performing test implementation right now first option test completion report is this something which you will get from test implementation no test completion is more of a last activity so this is incorrect now we see the second option data held in database used for you test inputs and expected results right so this is yes this looks very close that during test implementation you will basically work on or data held in the database used for test inputs and expected results that's a test implementation activity now moving to the third option the list of elements needed to build the test environment no not at all this is not a test implementation activity documented sequences of test cases in execution order absolutely so during test implementation if you have gone through the course you work on the test inputs ex expected result sequence of the test cases in the execution order that's all that's that's all you work on in the test implementation um, implementation this is this is also correct option fifth is the test cases right now with this let's see basically we figured out that okay second is the correct option right so where exactly the second option is in a and c so that means d and b are straight away crossed out okay now within a and c we have to figure out which is the correct option now because a because c contains test completion report option as well so straight away c is also out right so with just one couple of options we concluded that second and fourth are the correct option right so second 
this one and fourth are the correct correct option even fifth is not a correct option and we conclude that a is the correct answer for this particular question we just have to select one option so that's basically how you are going to work with the elimination strategy and apply some strategy to figure out the correct answers for ISTQB foundation exam so that's all for this video in the next one i'll cover another five exam questions with detailed explanation thank you see you in the next one